Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week and it doesn't matter which sport you're betting on. So as we head into the third week of 2020, the NHL season has already surpassed the halfway point. So we're going to talk about a few NHL matchups here for January the 16th and the game on the list that which should be the best one for the day is the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Boston Bruins. We'll get to that one shortly. But first, if you're not already a member, please join. You will have access to the Z Code VIP Club section, where you have all these excellent tools to help you make your picks more successfully. So let's scroll down through here and take a look at some of these matchups for Thursday. And you will see here there is a pretty full slate of games on tap. I'm going to go down through here, and the first one we want to take a look at is the Montreal Canadiens and the Philadelphia Flyers. Neither team is playing their best hockey at the moment. Montreal is sixth in the Atlantic Division with an 11, 9, and 3 road mark. You see that they are have a dead status, and in the last six, they have won their last two, but they've lost four out of their last six, so they're really not playing very well at all. The Philadelphia Flyers are ice cold up at the moment. They have won two out of their last six. Also, they are fifth in the Metropolitan Division, with a 15, 3, and 4 record at home. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you will notice that the Flyers have a plus 8 to plus 3 advantage there. Head to head so far this season, the Flyers have won both meetings. You will see one on the road and one at home, both in overtime, also both in shootouts. So, it looks like it might be a very close matchup again, but let's take a look at the totals predictor. The totals predictor, if you're considering bettering the over and under, you see that Montreal is playing in games trending under. Philadelphia is playing in the games trending well over, so I think that the, the well over is going to counteract the under for the games that Montreal is playing in, so I think that betting the over is a pretty good play in this one. You want to see how stable the two teams are, how well are they performing according to their favorite and underdog status. Philadelphia at plus seven, they are very stable. Montreal at minus two, so take their status lightly when considering betting on this game. I see the Flyers winning again in this one, and this time though, I don't think it will take overtime to do so. Let's pick the Flyers to win in regulation. The next game we want to take a look at here is the game of the day, the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Boston Bruins. The Penguins enter with the second best record in the Metropolitan Division. They are 12, 7, and 2 on the road. You see their average up at the moment, and they have won their last three and four out of their last six. The Boston Bruins are the top team in the Atlantic Division. They are 15, 2, and 9 at home. They are burning hot at the moment. You can see they did lose their last game, but they won their three previous games. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, both teams are near the top in the league, both teams on the rise. Boston at plus 29, Pittsburgh right behind them at plus 27. Head to head, notice that Boston won the first game between the two teams this season at home by a 6 to 4 score. So a very high scoring output on that one. If you want to look at the total predictor, Pittsburgh is playing in games trending over the line. Boston is playing in games trending under the line, so I would avoid the over under in this game. If you want to see how stable the two teams have been, take a look at this. You see both teams are relatively stable, although you can see that Pittsburgh is on the downward trend as far as stability goes, which means that lately they are not performing consistently according to their favorite underdog status. I expect this to be a close game. I think that Boston probably being at home will win this one in a very competitive, very tight game, and perhaps it will take overtime to decide it. The Vegas Golden Knights at Ottawa Senators. Vegas is 10, 8, and 3 on the road and enter fourth in the Pacific Division. If you look at the head to head matchups, they won the first meeting between the two teams on October 17th by a 3 2 score at home. Their average at the moment, you can see that they've lost their last three, though, after winning their previous three. The Senators, dead stats, they have lost their last six. They are going nowhere fast. Ottawa is. Solid at home, actually, though, at 11, 7, and 3, but they're seventh overall in the Atlantic Division. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that although Vegas is on a downward trend, they are still at plus 20 compared to zero for Ottawa. If you're considering the over and under, 
Look at Vegas here, playing in games trending well over the line, with the red compared to the blue. And also, the same holds true for Ottawa. So that's a clear indication to bet the over in this game. It should be a very high-scoring affair. How stable are the two teams? Take a look at that. Ottawa at plus 14 stability. You can see they are way up here near the top. And Vegas is down here at plus 4. So Ottawa is uh, performing more consistently according to their status. And their status will be underdog even though they're at home. There's very little that indicates that Ottawa can pull off the upset. So Vegas should win this one at least by two goals. Next one we want to look at here is the Buffalo Sabres and the Dallas Stars. Dallas has the second best record in the Central Division and they are 15-6-2 at home. They are burning hot at the moment. They have won five out of their last six games. The Sabres are ice cold down. They are 3-3 three three over their last six. They are 7-13-4 in the road and fifth in the Atlantic Division. If you look at the power rankings indicator, Dallas has a decided advantage of plus 28 to plus four. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups. In the first game of the season, Buffalo shut out Dallas by a 4 nothing score. So that's a little bit of a surprise considering the status of where the teams are at the moment. If you want to bet the over and under, Buffalo is playing in games trending well under the line by minus two points. Dallas is trending slightly over the line. I would tend to favor not betting the, betting the over under at all. If you do bet the over and under, I would suggest betting the under, but I would probably avoid that. Uh, how stable are the two teams? The volatility oscillator, you see plus 12 for Buffalo, plus 6 for Dallas. Both teams are relatively stable, so take a look at their favorite underdog stash and consider that when placing your bet. I would say that Dallas is probably the clear favorite, though, because they're just the better team at the moment. Despite the 4 0 win by Buffalo earlier, Dallas is trending in a much better direction. I say Dallas should win this one rather easily. Now we'll take a look at San Jose and Carolina, or excuse me, Colorado. San Jose and Colorado. San Jose average at the moment, they have won four out of their last six. Colorado is ice cold down. You can see they have lost their last three and have won two out of their last six. San Jose is currently sixth in the Pacific Division with a road record of 8-11-3. Colorado is 11-7-3 at home. They are second in the Central. Power rankings indicator shows that even though Colorado is on a downward trend from plus 28 down to plus 16, they are still higher than San Jose, which is at plus 9. Head to head, we will see that the teams have not yet faced each other this season. If you want to bet the over and under, you can see, look at this, San Jose is playing a game trending well under and by minus 6. So they're well under the line. You can see Colorado, though, on the other hand, is well above the line at plus 6. So which way do you go? In this case, I would say avoid betting the over and under. How stable are the two teams? You can see Carolina, excuse me, Colorado, not Carolina, Colorado Avalanche are at minus 3 in stability. They're very unstable at the moment. San Jose is at plus 6. So when you look at Colorado, do not consider their, uh, their favorite underdog status highly at all because they just are not playing very consistently. So having said that, I'm going to go with the first upset and the only upset out of these picks for this week. I would say San Jose will take this one on the road and they will win it by a goal. So there you have it for the picks for this week. Now, Remember, if you're not already a member, please join, and you'll have access to all these great tools. And also, you can check out the automated systems, the top automated systems. There's a, a uh, tab at the top of this page here, that. And when you do so, you will come up with this page here, top performing automated system. It's very easy to do. In this case, it says select sports. That, so you want to select hockey, NHL, or, or whichever sport you're betting on at the moment. And there's all different types of things, profit method, profit time. You can scroll down through here and take a look at this. The best thing to do for most people is just to look at the profit, like this first system here, NHL favorite system. Profit $52,260.50. There's other uh, things you can look at too. Uh, trust factor percentage, average deviation, return on investment, etc. And there's some great graphs that go along with it to show you the trend and the profit. So take a look at this if you did not already have done so. But remember, you have to join to have access to these tools. So there you have it. I hope you enjoy 
the games for this week. We will see you next time. Have a great weekend.